Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo ang Higher Order Partial Derivatives. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang higher order partial derivatives. So, meron na akong naon ng video about partial derivatives kung saan kinuha natin yung first partial derivative of a given function of at least two variables with respect to a certain variable. So, ano yung pa napapanood, isililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, kasi i-apply din naman natin yung natutunan natin doon dito. Pagpa-partial derivative pa rin tayo, pero higher order. Okay? Sabik sabihin kapag partial derivative uli, magderivative tayo with respect to a certain variable na indicated and then ititreat natin yung other variable as constant. Okay? So sabi, if f is a function of two variables, then in general, d sub 1f and d sub 2f are also functions of two variables. Etong d sub 1f tsaka d sub 2f siya yung partial derivative. Yung 1 tsaka 2 ibig sabihin kapag 1 with respect to x yung ating Uh, pagdi-differentiate partially kapag 2 with respect to y yung pagdi-differentiate partially. Okay? Are also functions of two variables. Okay? So, syempre, dahil functions of two variables siya, pwede rin maging functions of two variables uli yung first partial derivative nila. And if the partial derivatives of these functions exist, they are called second derivatives of f. Okay? So, kung nakuha na natin yung first partial derivative, tapos di-differentiate pa natin, tinatawag na yung second partial derivative. Tulad sa single variable function natin, right? Meron tayong first derivative, second derivative, third derivative, and so on. So, meron din tayong ganun dito sa partial derivatives. Yun nga lang, medyo iba na. Kasi kapag one single variable tayo, no choice naman na laging with respect to a certain variable lang yung ating dinidifferentiate, right? Ngayon kapag partial derivative, pwedeng maiba-iba. So, pwedeng i-differentiate mo muna with respect to x, And then, yung second derivative, i-differentiate mo naman with respect to y, or vice versa, and so on. So, ito yung iba't ibang mga notations na pwede natin gamitin. So, d sub 2, quantity d sub 1f, d sub 1, 2f, f sub xy, then d squared f over dy dx. So, lahat ng to, ibig sabihin, partial derivative natin yung isang function f with respect to x first, and then, sa next naman, i-differentiate natin siya with respect to y. Okay? So, lagi kapag 1, yun yung unang variable, particularly x. Kapag 2, y. Kapag 3, z, and so on. So, pwede rin tayong magkaroon dito ng more than 2 variables sa x, y, and z. Pwede rin. Or more. Same concepts lang din i-apply natin. So, tandaan nyo lang itong mga different notations na to para aware kayo kung paano yung order ng pagpa-partial derivative natin. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate natin yung paghanap ng higher order partial derivatives ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first one, we have given f of x comma y is equal to e raised to x sine y plus ln xy find a t sub 1, 1 f of x comma y b d sub 1, 2 f of x comma y and c d cube f dx dy cube. Okay, so meron daw tayong given function f of two variables x and y, e raised to x sin y plus ln xy, hanapin daw natin itong bawat isa. So, dito muna tayo sa first one. So, ibig sabihin itong d11 f of x comma y is, ipapartial derivative natin itong f with respect to x kasi meron tayong one notation. And then, second derivative ulit with respect to x kasi yung pangalawang number natin is one pa rin. So, parang second partial derivative of f with respect to x lang. Okay? So, dito muna tayo sa d1 of x comma y. So, ititreat natin lahat ng variable aside x sa constant, which is yung y. So, itong sin y times e raised to x, parang constant lang si sin y. So, ito lang i-differentiate natin, e raised to x. So, parang gilid ko lang si sin y, then derivative ni e raised to x is simply e raised to x. Okay? Plus, derivative nitong ln xy, so parang yung y constant dito, right? So, therefore, yung ln x yung i-differentiate natin with constant y. So, parang, so derivative ni ln xy is 1 over xy with y as a constant. Ha? Then, chain rule, multiply natin sa derivative nung xy, which is yung y constant, gilid lang. Then, derivative ni x is 1. So, simplify. So, unahin ko na lang tong e raised to x, then 
sin y plus, so cancel dito si y, 1 over x. Okay? Now, differentiate uli natin ito with respect to x uli. So, d1, 1, f of x, comma y is equal to, so ito, same lang kanina, so, sin y, e raised to x, plus derivative nito ang 1 over x. So, parang x raised to negative 1, right? So, power formula, so negative 1 times x raised to negative 1 minus 1, or negative x raised to negative 2, or sulat ko na dito. So, minus 1 over x squared. Okay, so therefore, this is the value of d sub 1, 1, f of x, comma y. Okay? Okay, next we have d sub 1, 2, f of x, comma y. Okay, so this time, ang notation naman is d sub 1, 2, f of x, comma y. So, ibig sabihin, ang una nating i-derivative is with respect to x, then after that, with respect to y naman, partially. So, nakuha na natin itong d sub 1, f of x, comma y, right? So, kuhain na lang natin to. Ito yun, di ba? Yung d sub 1, f of x, comma y, equals e raised to x, sin y, plus 1 over x. Okay? Ngayon, with respect to y naman daw yung pangalawang pagpa-partial derivative natin. So, therefore, d sub 1, 2, f of x, comma y, ipa-partial derivative natin to with respect to y naman. So, lahat ng x, treat natin as constant. So, therefore, e raised to x, gilid ko lang, then derivative ni sin y is cosine y. Plus, itong 1 over x, dahil considered nga sa x as constant, derivative ng constant is 0. So, therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. e raised to x cos y. Okay? Okay, next we have d cube f over dx dy cube. Ay, sorry, dapat ito ay squared lang. So, nagkamali ako ng sulat. Kasi tandaan nyo, na kapag yung exponent nyo sa taas is 3, Dapat, yun din yung total sum ng exponent dito sa baba. So, yung x, first derivative. Yung y, second derivative. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nitong notation na to is, ipapartial derivative muna natin twice sa y and then tsaka sa x. So, dito yung unahin nyo lagi kapag ganito yung notation sa kanan. Then, papunta sa kaliwa. Okay. So, second derivative natin itong f of x comma y with respect to y muna. Then, with respect to x after. So, partial derivative muna natin once with respect to y. So, we have e raised to x sin y plus ln x y, right? So, yung constant natin is yung x. So, e raised to x, copy lang. Then, derivative ni sin y is cos y. Then, itong ln x y, this time, constant naman si x. So, parang i-differentiate natin itong ln y na merong constant x. So, chain rule ulit. So, plus 1 over x y times Yung x this time is constant, so nakagilid, then derivative ni y is 1. So, we have e raised to x cos y plus cancel si x 1 over y. Okay? Then, dahil dalawang beses sa y, derivative uli natin with respect to y. Ito naman. So, therefore, e raised to x, itong cos y, derivative niya is negative sine y plus itong 1 over y, parang y raised to negative 1. So, negative y raised to negative 2 or minus 1 over y squared. Okay? Or negative e raised to x sine y minus 1 over y squared. Now, yung last, e derivative naman natin tong nakuha natin with respect to x. So, we have d221 f of x comma y. So, this time, constant naman si y. So, copy ko lang si sine y. Then, derivative ni e raised to x. So, by the way, may negative. So, derivative ni e raised to x is so, unahin ko na dito, negative e raised to x pa rin, right? Then, dahil constant na si y, with respect to x tayo, derivative niya is 0. Or cancel ko na, okay? So, therefore, this is the final answer. Next, Next we have, given f of x, comma y, comma z is equal to sin x, y plus 2z, find d sub 1, 3, 2, f of x, comma y, comma z. Okay, so this time, meron na tayong functions of three variables x, y, and z. Then, pinapahanap yung partial derivative with respect to x muna, then with respect to z, and then last with respect to y. Okay? So, hanapin muna natin yung partial derivative with respect to x. So, treat natin lahat ng other variable as constant, yung y tsaka z, with respect to x tayo mag-differentiate. So, derivative ni sin xy plus 2z with respect to x is 
derivative ni sine is cosine, right? So, cosine times, copy lang muna yung inside function na xy plus 2z, chain rule, multiply sa derivative ng loob. So, ganun pa rin, constant si y at z. So, dito muna tayo sa xy. Derivative niya is si y, gilid lang, then times derivative ng x is 1. Plus itong 2z, constant yan, so derivative is 0. So, parang we have cosine xy plus 2z times y na lang. Okay? Now, with respect to z naman. So, d sub 1, 3, f of x, comma y, z. Okay? So, constant si x at y, z lang yung i-differentiate natin. So, si y na to, constant, so gilid lang, times derivative ni cosine xy plus 2z. So, derivative ni cosine is negative sine right. So, chain rule ulit, copy ko muna itong inside function ng xy plus 2z. Then, times derivative ng inside function with respect to z. So, itong xy, dahil constant, 0. Plus, derivative ni 2z is simply 2. So, therefore, we have 2 times y, then negative, negative 2y, sine of xy plus 2z. Okay? Now, last with respect to y naman. So, d sub 1, 3, 2, f of x, comma y, comma z is equal to. So, parang meron tayong product rule kasi itong y nakamultiply sa sine. Which is meron ding sign sa loob. So, product of two functions yung derivative natin. So, negative 2, copy ko muna si y, then derivative ko to. So, derivative ni sign is cosine xy plus 2z, then derivative ng inside function, this time with respect to y. So, itong xy, so times x, gilid ko yung x constant, then derivative ni y is 1, plus itong 2z derivative niya is 0. Then plus, this time copy ko naman si sin xy plus 2z. So, negative 2 times sin xy plus 2z. Then derivative ni y is simply 1. So, simplifying further, we have, so ito ay parang x na lang times negative 2y. So, negative 2xy cos sin xy plus 2z. Then ito, minus 2 sin xy plus 2z. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, higher order partial derivatives. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.